Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Pyre. We destroyed some, some butt. Destroyed some butt. You know that's new. Um, I'll take some of you. There we go. And I'll take some of you. Ha ha ha. Uh, good. So we got some money. Uh, let's let's uh, check out the Book of Rights first. I mean, it doesn't really matter what order we do anything in, but it's fine. On worth. The fallen empire of Sar has ruled according to an ancient bloodline through to uh, thought to be infallible. Our society shall be, uh, shall instead be by those who earn the privilege. We the eight, we cannot bear the burden of determining your worth. It shall be determined by your peers and by you yourself. We shall provide a framing through the right to put you at the t to the test against yourselves, against your kin, against the adversaries. The downside cannot let us all go free. Thus, freedom to the worthy. As the worthy, your true calling then begins. As you return to a society which longs to uh, learn the wisdom you have gained along your path, the worthy shall lead. That makes sense. It's weird, though. It's a very cruel punishment, however. But as more justice than our justice system today, it feels like sometimes, ooh, controversy, kind of, not really. I mean, it's kind of common knowledge that our justice system, at least the American one, is pretty pretty shit. Well, uh, yeah, pretty much. Let's see what you have to say, Wolfred. Hmm. Following Hedwin's liberation, you find Wolfred smoking at his pipe, his eyes averted. He looks up at you and smiles as you approach. Hello, my boy. Excellent work back there. Thank you for your perseverance. Though, I was just reflecting on how very fortunate I've been in all of this. Not just me, but really, all of us who had a chance to stand with Hedwin here. Ours is admittedly a somewhat desperate plan. It is vital to me, should the Nightwings rise again, that it be under proper care and guidance. I was just thinking how well Hedwin served in that capacity. Whatever it is to the outcome of all this, no doubt his presence shall be missed. My agents and I, we were unsure of him at first. A common boy like that, completely unacquitted with the rights. But, in the end, I felt that he was worth a shot. Someone like him, sincere, determined, with loyal friends and desperate to get home. Those qualities spoke volumes. No kidding, I'm on, I'm on the same page. Then he falls silent for a time. I have every faith that he shall strive on, your on our behalf now in the Commonwealth, and it is my hope that he yet finds the one he sought. You and Wolfred speak little more of Hedwin for now. You are left wondering what shall become of him in the Commonwealth. I have great. I. I. It's gonna go well. I'm gonna say that right now. He. He's gonna. He's gonna do some cool stuff. All right. Let's continue, though, shall we? We have no other business to do here. There's no time. Uh, there is no time now to return to Moonlight Alcove as before, as the stars already urged you on. Everyone is ready to make haste for the Pit of Midlife. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Uh, but we can actually check this place out. Let's do that. Wilfred approaches you as you fly above his hidden lair in the Moonlight Alcove. You cannot help but wonder if you shall ever return there. Our dear Alcove, I have asked my agents to break down the place. It shall shoon, shoon, It soon shall be gone. If it isn't already, we shall not be returning. We have not time to do so. Anyway, and with Orlek back among the living now, and no longer fond of me, I do not think of what he would do with it. Unfortunately, hiding places are of little value once they're found. Once all of this is over, those of us who do not manage to return, we shall have to find another place to live. To try to live, at least. We'll do it. We'll do it. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh god, I so desperately want to... I want everyone to come back. I want a good ending. So... Bad. <laughs> oh, what's going on over here? What's up, the fate? I have pleasure to encounter with you within the skies themselves, old Nightwings. They deliberately crashed into us, father. Yet you still address them in such a cordial manner? Now, Almer, I am certain that this was an honest accident. It appears no lasting damage has been done. Please, take the helm, as I shall go and start to pick all up, up all the fallen artifacts, which shook free from the walls uh, after the impact. Perhaps some of these old heirlooms might be repaired with adversaries drawn from certain floor we may find along the long and difficult quest. 
damn you, Nightwings. You stay away from us. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to do that one. It's fine, though. You guys are fine. What the heck is going on over here? Is that Tizo? What are you doing? Flying around there? What the hell? Glad we picked you up. <laughs> Honestly. Alright, so we're here now. So we can go ooh, to a couple of places. Uh, cold moat. Find something of value. Interest in taking this route. Uh, presence of the eight scribes. You know what? Um, let's go with you. I like that. I gotta do with some shit in my life. Let's do it. Walk the eight scribes path. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 this is great. Beyond a crystal, we could really do with a challenge right now. My lovely reader comes to me again. All right, let's do it. Oh, scribe trial. Let's go. You need but ask, my reader. And you need but indicate who is to be my student. Well, clearly it's you because you asked. Um, is there anything that we would want? Yeah, we, we have that. To avoid banishment? I mean, we don't, don't really need that. Um, hope is time of banishment. I like that. I really do like that. The flame leech? Up to 70%. Um, let's get that in there. Uh, and not that, since we won't really need that for this thing. Um, that is... Can't upgrade that. All right, let's do it. Let's just go. All right. You asked Sandra to administer one of her special trials for Volfred. That fancy talking sap, you mean? I shall be interested to see if he has learned something since we last spared him like this. Then, let us bring him forth. Soon, Volfred appears in the heat of the summons. So, it is my turn then, is it? Then, let us see what we can do, my boy. All right, let's go. Saps, all right. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Why did I start reading that? Alright, we're doing it. The apparition Sandra appears and unfastens her mask. Listen well, Sap. You answer to me here. As you will. Oh, Sandra the Unseeing. Proper as ever. Though I wonder if you have the w uh, uh, where... What? The wherewithal that you project? Never heard of that before. <laughs> Show me, then, what you can do without the benefit of those whom you lead. And let us see if you and your lovely reader have reached a thorough understanding as of yet. Hopefully. We shall see. I don't like this. I really don't like this. Um... Ooh, that stays a long time. What the heck? Get destroyed. Um. Oh boy. Yeah, get destroyed. Come on, grab it. Grab it. You won't. You won't. You won't do it. Why are you, why are you going for me? I don't like this. I don't like this a lot. Yeah, there we go. I did some damage though. I'll take it. Haven't done any damage to me yet. Get destroyed. Yeah, dude, we going at it. This guy can fling, I'll tell you what. You bastard. What the heck? Go, go, go. Ah, we did it. We did it anyway. That was a really close one. I was like, oh god, this is gonna be close. Um. I don't like that guy. That's right, that's right. Oh, 
Oh, he's fast. That boy's fast. We can do it, though. We can do it. First try. Alright, it's alright. Yes! Eight left. Eight left is not a lot. I didn't want to do that. I totally did, though. Come on. Yes! Dude, that was easy. That was really easy. You just have to fling it. You gotta get used to him. And then we good. Let's go roll for it. I'm grateful for the privilege of your time, good Sandra. Flattery shall never get you anywhere with me, sap. Nonetheless, your performance was sufficient, and you passed my test. Thus, congratulations are in order to you and your lovely reader. Now, farewell. Oh, I love it. I like that. You know, I, I, I'm confident with him now. Do we get something crazy good? I mean, I'm just in it for the relics. Let's, or the talisman, sorry. <laughs> I had not seen that Sandra in some time. She has not changed a bit. That's kind of sad. <laughs> but it would seem as sh uh, she left something for us, did she? Whoa! Lose bow for completing Wolfred's trial. Rank 10 legendary. Wolfred's blink ability transports him farther than usual, plus 50%. That's actually really useful. Um, that's very useful, actually. Um, yeah, I really like that. Alright, let's, let's accept that. Because that's the one thing that I was really just like, Blink is not fast enough. I want some more distance there. And we can actually upgrade that too, it seems like. I might throw the 10 uh, Stardust at him. Um, ooh, 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 first of all, uh, Sandra, what do you have to say? What do you have to say for yourself? What's on your mind? Why are you doing this? Reaching out to me, again, like this. I've been abandoned in this blasted rock more times than you could count, reader. And each time I laughed it off, like so. <laughs> she laughs. I fear it would be different this time. Before I knew that someone else would come around and pick up where the previous idiot left off. But now, she scoffs and then falls silent for a time. Well, it seems there might not be a next time after this. If what I mean, am to understand about the stars out there uh, is, even half, is even a half-truth. So then, I can anticipate an eternity of utter solitude without the blasted rights to keep me company. Understanding that, uh, wh uh, while I may be an apparition in a glass to you, I yet retain a shred of self and do not see happily and do not happily foresee that outcome. And yet, you keep on coming back to me like this. If this is all in service of a torment, then you are most cruel, O oh lovely reader. Condemnably so, I have to say. So then, am I to understand that you wish to spend more time with me thus, knowing full well the stars are soon to put an end to this little affair? As if in answer to her question, you feel that she seems to be the Beyonder Crystal itself. The Beyonder Crystal seems to be pulling you away. What? Return to the crystal's surface? Stay with Sandra for a while longer. What the heck is happening? This is very strange. Um, I want to stay with Sandra for a while longer, honestly. Wait, the ancient sorcery that sentenced Sandra to this is not is not something to be trifled with. If you are to be, uh, able to provide some welcoming company for her, then you shall do it. Yeah, 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 I feel like that's that's where it's at. You focus your mind and remain where you are there with Sandra in the confines of the Beyonder Crystal. And remain there with her for some time. No words need to be exchanged between the two of you. And in the darkness there for once, she does not feel alone. Soon enough, however, she bids you to depart. You shall leave these idiots of yours listless if you remain here for too long. Be gone already. And let me know if you have the need of me. Oh man, I feel so sad for her. Mm. Farewell. Aw. Oh, so sad. Let's walk, though. We have nothing else to do. All right. You and Shay wander together for a while through the poisoned lands of Fallow Field, some, sometimes in circles. What exactly is she looking for? She cannot explain. Eventually, however, she happens on something that never caught your notice. 
Look at this, look at this, mister. The scribes, they walked this very path. I think they did, and left us here for us. The object she procures does not seem to emanate with the sort of faint and ancient power. Does seem, not, uh, okay. A wisdom trace. What? Oh, wow, okay, enlightenment. I thought that was like something, okay, okay. Ooh, that's nice. That's very nice. You know, I'm going to put that on uh, my boy, Wolfred. Oh, Tizu, what's, what's going on? Tizu seems to be in the midst of a conversation with the lone minstrel as you approach the two of them. The little imp appears perturbed about something. And above all, he was very, very loyal. Fiercely so, in fact. All throughout the land knew better than to underestimate him, in spite of his little stature. In that respect, Tizo, and many others, I might add, your great-grandfather was very much like you. Tizo seems to be asking the lone minstrel to confirm he is not playing some sort of prank. I am being serious. Have you known me to be of the jesting sort? Tizo seems to be admitting the lone minstrel has always been sincere with him. Just so. Then, please do not uh, uh, denigrate yourself, for you are not only his hair, is heir, but you are my remaining link to him, and thus to the eight. Oh wow, so he was a direct descendant of the eight, or of, uh, I forget his name. And more importantly, you are my friend. Aww. <laughs> he was grateful to the lone minstrel for his kind words, and considers him a friend as well. The Nightwings need you now more than ever. The lone minstrel turns to you. Is that not so, reader? Hartley concur. Of oh, dude! Why would I- What? My god, of course. You concur with the lone minstrel's assessment of Tizo as a most remarkable and irreplaceable member of the group. He is an extraordinary imp indeed. At this, Tizo rushes up to you and gives you an imp hug. <laughs> Aww. Tizo is grateful for you and your kindness and your support of him. Tizo bounds off happily as the lone minstrel looks on. And there he goes. Thank you, indeed, reader. Tizo sometimes is the side of all that makes him special, a quality uncharacteristic of his kind, but not so much uncommon of young yours. Uh, uncommon among yours. Once there was a time when he was the sole imp able to conduct the rites. Since then, however, other triumvirates have found imps with the capacity for it. They make for useful allies, no? More than willing to conduct the rites whilst having no desire to leave this place. Although little Tizo does have dreams of visiting the Commonwealth. In any case, I'm certain he shall continue to serve the Nightwings faithfully. The lone minstrel bows his head on his way out, bidding you a good rest of the afternoon. Gained one hope. Oh, lovely. Wish him well. I love that guy. My favorite character. I, 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 honestly, he's so good. I, I, I guess Tizo doesn't really want to go to the Commonwealth. That makes sense. I do kind of remember stuff about that. Um, like he doesn't mind. But man, I want to do something good for him. He's so nice. I, I, I really want to get Volfred next. That's definitely a thing. Um, in fact, what you at? What you at, son? Um, I do kind of want to give you this enlightenment, my boy. Um, I will. We can actually get uh, uh, one of these as well. Long did I bide my time in anticipation that one day the Nightwings should reform under a common cause. To be a part of it myself, it nourishes the spirit. Um, adversaries extinguish his pyre. Uh, oh, yeah, that's good. I forgot about that. Uh, Wolfred and his uh, allies are banished. Adversaries are slowed and cannot use abilities. That's really nice. After casting Sprout, Fulford may remotely detonate his sapling in an orb burst. I really, really, really like that one. T to detonate. I totally will do that, actually. Ooh, that sounds nice. Um, also, let's get this, let's get this, uh, this thing on Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, if we were to give you this. What? It was just straight up twice. Yeah, I'm doing that. He goes twice as far. That's incredible. All right, all right. We're gonna we're gonna rock and roll with that guy. Let's tell you tell you what. Let's continue though. Let's get on with this pit of malaise. Hoping this goes pretty smoothly. 
Hopefully no shenanigans, but that's gonna happen. Stop the wagon, now! Black Wagon has shuddered to a stop en route to the Pit of Malithe. There's some commotion as Wolfred motions for everyone to be still. There ahead, it seems we have a visitor. He points into the distance. However, when you scan the horizon, everything is still. You see no sign of whoever Wolfred referred to. Still, he indicates caution. I'm certain I saw someone directly in the road. A tense moment passes, then another. Then Wolfred tenses up. There he is. Look there. You look towards where he signals, and then at last you see the, the cause of his concern. There's mo no mistaking who it is. Ah, uh, Orlek stands there, near motionless, atop some forgotten rock jutting out from a muddy bleakness in a fair distance away. Huh. Thought I heard something. Because I'm going crazy. Sorry. Um, alright. He stands directly on the path of your black wagon. Yet, he shows no sign of acknowledging the wagon's presence. He appears only to be waiting for something. Likely, for you all. Wolfred gets your attention. Quietly. Well, my boy, I'm open to two suggestions here. Orlek likely hasn't come to pay a social visit. Uh, what shall we do? We do have a right to get to. I don't want to turn back. Um, and then we can, ha we, we can say, hey, what's up? He obviously is looking for something. I think if we, like, stand up and say, hey, what's up, bruh? <laughs> He'll be like, oh, okay, they're a little bold, are they not? Um, I think we do that. I think we say, hey, what's up? Like, what's going on? Bad idea? Probably. We'll see. There has to be a... Uh, oh, uh, there has to be a way to reason with Orlek and bridge differences between him and his former triumvirate. Perhaps he has come to negotiate. I'm Listen, I'm a, I'm an optimist, full-on optimist. Let, let's go. He's nice. Guys, he's probably not. He's probably still an asshole. I am uncertain Orlek is willing to be reasonable at this point. After everything he has been through, though I am hopeful you are right. You give the signal for the imp, the drive imps to start the wagon and head towards him. But as you reach the point where Orlek once stood... He has vanished. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Was this a trap? Surveying our strength, perhaps. He, uh, his motivates. His motives are plain. Plain. God, I can't talk. His motives are plain, but his intentions unclear. Indeed, Orlek is nowhere to be found. Now, it is unnerving. The unnerving encounter causes everyone to fall silent for the remainder of the trip. Wow, really? At least we didn't lose any, like, stats. Your wagon finally arrives at the Pit of Malithe, where still there is no sign of Orlek, or your next adversaries for that matter. Your companions organize a quick search about the premises, leaving you to watch the wagon until the rite's commencement. Alright, we got Falcon Ron over here, we also got someone- <gasps> Whoa! No, I don't like this! Something is wrong. Someone is here alone with you. Your fear implores you to reach for the door and flee. What courage you have prevents you. Oh my god, this is kind of spooky. Can teleport? The madman can teleport? My god. Orlek seems to be examining various objects in the wagon. Whether he has noticed you, you cannot tell. What he is doing here, and how you got, and how he got in unnoticed, you cannot imagine. You watch him go about whatever he is doing, examining all sorts of things that you and your fellow exiles gathered on your journey. He shakes his head. All of these trinkets. This wagon. It is most different now. Welcoming, and yet, I am unwelcome here, it seems. Listen, I'm willing to talk. In my own wagon. He directs his gaze at you, acknowledging your presence for the first time. You, a mere shadow. Tell me something. Who are you to them? <sighs> I mean, I am their friend. I That's kind of my plan. I want to I wanna be their, their chill. I know you want to be their friend too, and I kind of took your spot. 
I understand. But my boy, like it's, we could be your friend too. <laughs> it's going to be more than just your role in the rites. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. All right, you tell Orlek that you have traveled all across the downside with this group, and count them as your trusted friends. It is a different group now than in his day. A friend, is it? Beware then, for the Nightwings do not always treat their friends with due charity. Alright, I'll take the warning. I really don't believe that that's the thing anymore. I know these people. Relay to them a message for me, Shadow. Tell them, I shall have my knight. He strides right past you towards the door, but then he turns to you again once more. I shall have my knight. Then Orlek is gone. Did you just threaten us? I think he just threatened us. Everything is really quiet in here. Doors closed. I don't like this. Several of your companions return as you exit the wagon. You explained what happened. However, no one, none of them saw Orlek. Dude, he is a teleporting demon monster, alright? Listen, we've established this. I believe you, my boy, Orlek. He, he is unwell. It is good you did not come to harm him. Uh, uh, good you did not come to harm. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Now, let's make sure the same can be said of the wagon. You and the others conduct an exhaustive search in and around the black wagon for any signs of objects missing or tampered with, as well as signs of damaged or foul play. The search yields nothing. Good. No one finds any sign for anything moved or tampered with. Even the drive imps seem calm. The incident leaves you questioning your own recollection of what happened. You try to clear your mind for the rite is soon now to commence. Did you tell them what he said? I mean, I know it's a threat, but like, come on. Just be a little transparent here, alright? Hey guys, come on in. Say now, whatever happened to that smiley headwind guy? Did he really get, <laughs> get out of here uh, like I have been hearing, or what? Yeah, he did. While the bearer's triumvirate is banished, adversaries are slowed and cannot- Ooh. That's kind of like the, uh, um... The- the Wolfred thing, right? But, like, on the one guy, not everyone. So that's interesting. Um, but really, I think we're, like, super cool and okay here. There's our expansion of... See, that's really nice. I kind of wanna... Oh, that's so sad. I guess we can sell this now. Oh my god, what if I- uh, hold on, I just thought, what if in the end, like, we have to fight one last fight in, like, the Commonwealth or something, and, like, some right thing? I have no idea, but if that's a case, I feel like we actually don't need these bands anymore. I'll get rid of the bands, how about that? And I'll get some Stardust. I'll get a five, I'll get a five one. 48, 49, 31. Stardust is always good, right? Thanks, guys. Good luck in that thing you're going to tonight. Thanks. Thanks, my dude. Um, we have a Patriot Field as well as Slug Markets. Interesting. These are the natives in this land with some capacity for thought and oddly keen instinct for the uh, mercantile. Suspicious creatures, but not disagreeable entirely. From time to time, we make exchange with them. They lust for coins, for the imperial soul. Though, why? They do not say. We speculate it is a delicacy. It serves us little purpose here, whilst their slug market wares are sometimes valuable. The creatures appear drawn to places where the heavens shine the brightest, perhaps because they know we are as well. What they want exactly is unclear. We taught them of our lands, yet they remain preoccupied with simpler things. So it's like they know about the rights and all that type of stuff, but like they don't they don't care. They're just like, alright, cool. You're like, we, like, we're, we're just doing business, right? That's fine. That's cool. They're fine. Alright, I think we're ready, though. We're ready to commence the right on the next episode. Woo, wow, wow, look at that transition. Alright, sorry, that was dumb. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode as much as I did, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. <laughs>